I tried Animal Crossing's easiest island theme. This means I'll be using no terraforming tools and no custom design codes. I've tried the hardest island theme in Animal Crossing in a previous video and now it's finally time to do the opposite. But is there really an island theme that can be easy? I've decorated over 10 islands in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I might have not finished them all, but none of them have really been easy. If you like this type of video, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. I would greatly appreciate it. So what is Animal Crossing's easiest island theme? I'm calling it Island Core. Island Core is exactly what it sounds like. Decorating your island well like an island. This means using tropical decor, no terraforming, and no custom codes. Basically, we're not altering the original island map at all, and we're using tropical furniture and plants to really make the island feel like an island. I started with the in-game sand pathway and I made a simple T-shaped path for our entrance. This is supposed to be easy, so I tried not to think too hard. Since this is island core, I really wanted to use coconut trees on my island, which I've never done before. In order to do this, you do have to place a square of the sand pathway to plant the tree in, otherwise they will not grow inland. Because I won't be using any terraforming on this island, I needed to find a different way to achieve height and depth in my build. I decided to use the stunted tree trick to create this cool design with the coconut trees. I started with the smallest coconut trees in front, gradually getting larger as we went back. I thought this looked really cool. To keep the trees in their smaller forms, all you have to do is plant a piece of fruit behind them. I'll also be using the hibiscus shrubs on this island to keep with the tropical theme. And by the way, what should we call this island? I haven't decided on a name yet, so comment your ideas below. And while you brainstorm on an island name, let's take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Play Vital. Are you ready to level up your gaming setup and express your unique style? Look no further than Play Vital, your ultimate online destination for all Nintendo Switch accessories. PlayVital believes that your Switch should be as unique as you are, and that's why they offer a wide array of accessories featuring adorable, cute designs that truly stand out. From pastel colors to dark, enchanting cases, PlayVital has everything you need to personalize your device. Imagine playing your favorite games with a Switch that really reflects your personality. With PlayVital's high-quality, durable skins and protectors, not only can you protect your device, but you can also make a statement. And the best part, it's super easy to switch up your style whenever you want. The accessories are designed for hassle-free application. Don't wait to make your Switch as playful and unique as your gaming adventures. Head over to Play Vital today and start personalizing your devices with the cutest accessories. Just look at this cute pink cherry blossom case that they sent me. I am obsessed. And look at these little Joy-Con covers. They're a little bunny and a bear and oh, it's just, it's so cute. Thank you again to Play Vital for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. Because I wanted this to be an easy build, I decided to not use custom design codes. My thought process was that this would make it more simple and require less steps overall, but this did actually end up being a little bit of its own challenge. I didn't realize just how much I relied on custom design codes on my other islands. I felt like the build was lacking or maybe empty looking without custom design codes. To make up for this, I used a ton of vibrant flowers to really fill in the spaces. Basically, I covered every space with a flower, shrub, a tree, or an item. When I tried the hardest island theme, Elegant Core, one of the many things that made it so difficult was practicing symmetry. Trying to make sure that my terraforming was the same on either side of the build was so hard and tedious. This time, I'm actually using symmetry to my advantage. It turns out that it can be pretty easy and simple when you're not terraforming. Why is everything easier when there's no terraforming? <laughs> Once I added stuff on one side of the path, it was a breeze to replicate it on the other side. It also gave a nice uniform look to the island, which I really liked. At this point, I was really enjoying how this island core entrance was turning out. It was just missing one thing, more height and more depth. While my stunted coconut tree design looked great, the entrance definitely needed more. I sadly removed the bamboo bench that I had placed earlier and decided to instead use this big gazebo item to really elevate this build. I was shocked by how much this single item transformed the entire entrance. I feel like it looked so much better after I added the gazebo. I continued to work on filling the spaces around the path with more shrubs, more flowers, and more trees. Back 
back here where the sand pathway started to form its T shape, I thought it would be the perfect spot for the bamboo bench that I had removed earlier. The bamboo furniture just works great for the tropical vibe I'm going for with this island, especially in the green color variation. And to make it even more island core, I added a cute coconut juice on top and I, I just can't wait to see my villagers sit here. Speaking of seating areas, I wanted to add more. The rattan furniture set looks so good with the tropical theme, so I decided to add a table with two chairs. I even put this seafood salad on top of the table to add more to the island core vibes and because it just looks so cute and yummy. I of course added shrubs, flowers, and trees around the seating area to give it a more full and vibrant look. Since I was really feeling the bamboo furniture, I decided to use more. The bamboo partition item looks so cool and I thought it would also give some height to this build. I placed three of the partitions side by side to form something that looks like a fence. And again, I continued to plant more and more flowers and shrubs to fill in the surrounding spaces. At one point, I realized that the sand pathway was looking a little bland, and I thought it would look great to add some custom codes on top of it, but of course, custom codes are forbidden on this island, so I decided to opt for some weeds instead. I actually love how this turned out, and I think the pathway looked way more lively with the addition of weeds. To keep the build symmetrical, I replicated the shrubs and flowers from the other side, and also added three bamboo partitions on this side. Using the same rattan furniture, I added another seating area, but this time I placed this yummy salmon bagel food item on the table. Again, I planted more stuff all around. Remember, this is the easiest island theme, so I'm not putting much thought. I'm just spamming flowers and shrubs to fill the space and add some color. This island core entrance was really shaping up into something beautiful, and I was feeling so proud of this build. I just wanted to add one final touch, something to give way more height, way more color and really tie in the island core vibes. These medieval building side items come in these bright tropical colors, so I decided to alternate the pink and yellow variations behind our entrance. This gave such a satisfying backdrop to the entrance, and I felt like this really made up for the lack of terraforming and height. These walls just really finished off the build, and now I'm so excited to give you the final walkthrough. I hope that you all have enjoyed this island core entrance build. I definitely think it was the easiest entrance I've ever made, even with its small challenges. If you decide to try island core yourself, I would love to see it, so you should totally join the Tiger Sub Discord server where you can share pictures with the community. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave a like, and let me know in the comments if you would like to see more from this island or if there's a different island theme I should try. Thank you so much to our channel members and today's sponsor, Play Vital. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!